This program is brought to you by Emory University. I think the Uma Thurman um, scene where she's trapped in that coffin um, is an experience and the fear that she fears that she feels when she's trapped in that coffin is something that we can all relate to we can all sort of simulate that experience and experience that anxiety while watching the movie because it's really tapping that fundamental fear that we all share a fear where if you're trapped in an enclosed space you can't escape and so we're interested um, in fear as it relates to various types of spatial perception. So in one study that we're doing, we're asking people to estimate various distances, and the distances might be along the horizontal dimension, um, so you know from here to there, um, or along the vertical dimension. Um, and what we find, and what we're finding, is that um, people who are um, higher in claustrophobic fear, they underestimate distances. So they essentially perceive things as being too close to themselves. Um, people who are high in acrophobic fear, which is the fear of heights, um, overestimate along the um, vertical dimension. So if they have to report, you know, how far is something from the top of um, the parking lot to the ground, they um, overestimate that distance. So it seems that the two may form sort of opposite ends of a continuum, of a spatial perceptual continuum. Um, claustrophobic fear being um, the end where um, things are too close and acrophobic fear being the end where things are too far from you. We, at this point, um, aren't able to say anything about the causal direction. So we don't know for sure whether it's, as I mentioned before, whether it's the um, um, distortion in spatial perception that leads to the fear or vice versa, the fear that leads to the distortion in spatial perception. Um, but if it is um, a distortion in spatial perception that leads to fear of enclosed spaces um, or heights, um, one thing that we can do is try to modify um, how a person perceives um, the surrounding space to see whether it has an impact on the fear and whether it may be used as a potential treatment strategy for things like claustrophobia um, or acrophobia. So for example, in the case of um, the space, the near space that surrounds the body, we've shown that the size of that space is actually quite flexible. Mm -hmm. So we can expand it and we've shown that you can shrink it. So if um, greater claustrophobic fear is associated with a larger sense of this near space, one way to treat the fear, um, to reduce the fear, um, or potentially to treat claustrophobia, is to reduce that sense of near space, to try to make it smaller, um, to see whether it alleviates some of the um, symptoms, and also um, whether it really is that particular causal direction, whether it's how you perceive the space that leads to things like claustrophobia or acrophobia. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.